In this tutorial, we will take a look at using a wiki library. Wikis are great for collecting, sharing, and communicating ideas and knowledge. By using a web browser, you and your team members can create and contribute to the pages of the wiki library. They don't need special software outside of SharePoint, such as Microsoft Word. The pages are created and edited directly in the browser and stored in the wiki library. Wiki pages can contain formatted text, pictures, tables, hyperlinks to sites and blogs, as well as links to other wiki pages. In this demonstration, I will create a wiki library on the training site to organize and collect information for developing a SharePoint training course for our employees. There will be several people at different levels contributing ideas and content for the manual. All contributors to the manual will have the necessary permission to add and update information in this wiki. The first step is to create the wiki library. Since the training department will be using the wiki, I will create it on the training site. Then I'll click on Site Actions, View All Site Content, then towards the top of the page, I'll click Create. This displays a list of all the different types of content you can create on a site. To narrow down the list, click on Library on the left to display the different library types, and then I'll select Wiki Library. Then over on the right, I'll enter the name for my new wiki library. Then I'll click on More Options. So again, I see the name I gave my wiki library, and then I'll type in a description for this library. And the last question asks if I want to display a link to this wiki library in the Quick Launch. The default is yes, and I do want that, so I'll leave that at yes and select Create. A new wiki library comes with two default pages titled Home and How to Use This Wiki Library. When you first create a wiki library, the home page is displayed as indicated on the breadcrumb trail at the top. Initially, the home page contains information about using a wiki library. To view all pages of a wiki library, click the page tab at the top, then click View All Pages. Now you can see the names of those two default pages that come with every wiki library titled Home and How to Use This Library. To open a page from here, just click on the page name. So I'm going to click on Home. That will take us back to the first page we saw when the wiki was created. The Home page is also the default page whenever you navigate to the library from Quick Launch. To demonstrate, I'll return to the training page and I'll use the breadcrumb trail here. You notice a link to the wiki was added to the quick launch on the left here. I'll click on the link to the wiki and it automatically opens the home page. Next, we will prepare the home page. Since this is the first page in the wiki library, it should contain some information regarding the overall purpose and plan for the wiki. So what I want to do is to delete the welcome text here and replace it with an appropriate title and description for this wiki. So to change the content of this page, I'll click on Site Actions, and then Edit Page. The Editing Tools ribbon displays across the top. The Formatting Text tab is displayed first, with buttons for formatting text and adding bullets and alignment. The Insert tab will let us insert items such as a table, picture, hyperlinks, and web parts. So I'll return back to the Format Text tab. So I'll select all the text on the page and then press delete on my keyboard. Then I'll type a heading and purpose for the wiki. And I'll format the title here a little bit. Select the text, use the buttons up above here to format just like you would in Word document or any other type of text document. And now that I'm finished editing this page for now, I'll click on the save and close button. And next I'll show you how to create additional pages in the wiki, and we're going to use these additional pages for the different areas of training manual content. This home page will serve as a table of contents for the rest of the wiki pages. It will not only list the other pages in the wiki, but will provide links to those pages. In our demo here, each page will be a topic covered in the SharePoint training manual. So to make additional changes to this page, I'll go up to Site Actions, and then Edit Page. And I'm going to add these links to these other pages below the description. 
So I'll click at the end of the description text and just enter down two lines. So I'll enter the link for the new page called Site Navigation, and that's entered inside of double square brackets. And you can see as I'm typing, it's telling me that item does not exist, meaning that page does not exist yet. So I'll enter a few more page names that I know I will need. Okay, so I finished entering the titles of the pages that I want to create. When finished editing the page, I just click the Save and Close button. The page names that had brackets around them appear with dotted underlines. That indicates that they are links to pages that have not yet been created. To create a new page from the title, just click on the link. So I'll click on the first link here for Site Navigation. The new page dialog box displays telling me this page will be created in the SharePoint Manual Development Library. And a page named Site Navigation does not exist. Do I want to create it? So yes, I'll select the Create button. And that takes me to a new wiki page named Site Navigation. Right now, the only place I see that page name is up on the tab here. Or I can click on the Browse tab and that brings up the breadcrumb trail which shows the name of the wiki library and the name of the page I'm currently on, that new page site navigation. So the wiki content area right here is where I enter my text, pictures, or links for the document content. The first thing I want to do however is to provide a link to easily get back to the home page from this page. So at the top of each new page I create I'll type the name of the home page enclosed in square brackets. So to make changes to this page, I'll click on the format text and add my link back to the home page. So now I can start adding content ideas for this page titled Site Navigation. So I finished adding some ideas here about Site Navigation. And for now, I'll click on the Save and Close button. And then I'll use the home link to return to the home page of the wiki. Notice the link for Site Navigation page no longer has a dotted underline, and that's because the page has been created. So if I want to continue editing the Site Navigation page, I simply click on the link to navigate to that page, and then choose Site Actions, Edit Page. As pointed out earlier, when you're editing page, SharePoint provides you with a format text set of buttons and insert buttons. And what I'll demonstrate now is inserting a hyperlink. So first I want to position my cursor on the page where I want that hyperlink to appear. And I want that below these bulleted list items. And I'll enter the words Google search. And then I would like this text to link to the Google search page. So I start by highlighting that text, click on the hyperlink button, and down in the address box, type in the URL to the Google search page. When finished providing the address, select OK to save. And now this text to Google search is a hyperlink to the Google search page. So to save my page, I need to go back to the Format Text tab and click on Save and Close. And then I'll click on the Home link to return to the Wiki home page. So I'll quickly create the remaining pages here, offline. So I finished creating pages for the remainder of the links here on the home page. So now the other contributors to this training manual will be able to come in and add content to the pages I've created, or they can go ahead and create new pages if they like. So as demonstrated, it is very easy to build and organize the pages of a wiki.